Alright, I'm just walking back to the graveyard. I just wanted to give you a little idea of the kind of spot it's in. I've lived in Dartmouth my whole life. I never knew this place existed up until about a little over a month or so ago. It's the Tufts graveyard. That's Tufts Cove power plant. A lot of the children in this graveyard, like half of the people, there's 90 something people in this graveyard that have done a lot of research. 90 something people and like close to half of them are children. It's a beautiful little graveyard. The nicest one that I've seen in But it's very old. Very, very old. Never heard of it until my mom just happened to mention it. And I've never been here. There's a lot of gra graves that I'm actually walking over and I feel so horrible. This is the first one that caught my eye. Killed by the Halifax explosion. I hope they're resting in peace with Jesus Christ. I've also noticed on some of the older graves. Let me go see if I can find this. Okay, I'm trying to see exactly what this says. Something of Jesus. I might have to look at it like when it's not so dark. Not so bright, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna do a walk around of the whole cemetery. Those people that have their backyard to see me over here probably think I'm crazy or something, but oh well. Something's calling me to this graveyard. I don't know what exactly. It's beautiful. Like, it's very well kept. Except for these, like, grown in things right here. I feel so bad walking over people because I know I'm standing on somebody right now. Like all these little grave markers. There's so many unmarked graves in here. I'm going to put the link in the descriptions for all the people that are actually in here so you can see for yourself. Like there's some really old. Graves here. Really old. Let's go back over to some of them from the Halifax explosion over here. It's still in use, but yet I've never heard of it. More Halifax explosion victims. Now these rights, I feel bad for their children. They all done, died pretty young. I've done a little bit of research on them. All their children died before the age of, I believe, 22. Yes. 
had to let the, know, the neighbors know that I'm not crazy. He just gave me this card. Come on, there we go, focus in. He gave me this card and told me he's the one that does all the upkeep for here. And I mean, it's really taken care of, it's really beautiful. We'll go to the Jesus stone. Oh, it was right there too. It says on it, something about Jesus. I'm gonna try to make it out when I get home in, uh, in a darker area, it's so bright right now. Like, how could I never know this place was here? It's a little strange. It's beautiful, though. Poor ones that are broken. I feel good. Again, I feel bad for all the graves I'm walking over. I'm sorry. It's really old. It's probably carved in that one, too. The older, older stones. There's something carved about Jesus. Sleeping with Jesus. And again, Miss Mary Tufts. And we'll walk down to where all the broken headstones are that they've collected over the years and they put over here. They're all resting in peace. I do. Well, that will be it for episode one of the graveyard. I'll come back though, because there's a lot more to discover. Like, another thing just to let you know how this graveyard is completely out of the way. Like, look at this. Out of the way. I have to walk all the way up to the street. Alright, I'm on the other side of the graveyard. I'm just going to go back here and see what's back here because I've never ever been back here. And I'm going to take this because nobody will actually come down here with me. All kinds of firewood. Weird things you find out in the back of the woods. Somebody's been drinking back here. People must come back here a lot because this is like a pretty worn down path. Ooh, I just walked through a spider web. Huh. I wonder whose property this is. Can I get in trouble for being down here? It looks like it could be Nova Scotia Powers. I'm not sure though. I see it would be probably fenced off. I'll come back down here another day with somebody.